review of this uh, YA101 style OBD scanner. Uh, first thing that's pretty cool is it's almost instantaneous from when you plug it into when the menus come up. Granted, it hasn't done any searching yet. The other thing that's pretty nice is even in the dark, it has a nice backlit screen on it, and it is color. So with the vehicle off, uh, you can go in here and have it pull, and get you an idea of just how quickly it's going here. It's going to quickly start spraying across the different protocols. And it does properly indicate that the ECU is not powered on. So we're going to now put it in ignition on. Now with ignition on, let's run that again and get an idea. Now this is a very recent CAN bus vehicle. You can see right away, um, it populates within just a couple seconds. Uh, in this case, I don't think we're going to be able to see any codes, but let's just see. That's a very fast response. Have the vehicle on. Let's try and pull some data. Can read the VIN. Calibration. Oh, yeah, that's what it's supposed to see. Okay, yep, so I can read the. So let's see what we can get for live data. Typically on these cheap tools, you're not going to see much at all, so it'll be really interesting to see what we can get. vehicle was cold, so these numbers do seem pretty accurate. Oxygen sensors. And the overall runtime. Okay, since the mill code was cleared, is that mill distance? Interestingly enough, it says ethanol. I don't know if that means E85 or just 10% blend. It should be 10% blend. It's really interesting that it's able to pull that much PID data a fairly inexpensive tool. And for reference, this is a Fiat Chrysler Pentastar based ECU. Let's just see what we can get from mode 6. Oh, well, can even tell us our caps. Nothing too interesting, I suppose. That's pretty impressive pit count there. Uh, I'm stopping some component tests, but I don't actually want to run them, but let's just see what we get. Okay, nothing for that. Two sensor test. Hopefully it doesn't kick it off without asking. Okay, so it does give those options. Um, there's a couple other things. Voltage test, just going to read the voltage output. I suppose if you're worried about your alternator, that'd be nice. Let's try the DTC lookup function here. I'm not sure why I would ask you for a particular model, but let's just go to generic. So there's a basic code definition, and it does give you a couple pos possible causes there too. Nothing uh, we're at home about, but I suppose if you want to just have a fairly inexpensive scan tool in vehicle and you have a problem while you're out on the road, it does give you that option. Options allows you to select language unit, data logging, turn that on. For reference, this is the exact firmware that's running on the thing. Let's actually try selecting a particular value with RPM here. Nothing up here to do anything. You just click on a value. So the freeze frames are going to only 
be triggered based on code. Well, that's a quick look at this YA101. I think it's a pretty decent meter if you want to be able to have some basic live data available in a pretty inexpensive package. If you want to have an expensive scan tool in all of your vehicles, uh, this might be a good option.